I really appreciate the fact that I regularly get asked how I got into photography, and here's the backstory. So I've always been involved and interested in photography, but always as an amateur. And at one point, my beautiful daughter was a director for Foxwoods MGM. This was a pretty new job that she had. And she was responsible for when they were opening up MGM. And she was particularly responsible for VIP concierge service and all the experience of all the VIPs and celebrities that were going to come to the grand opening. And when I say celebrities, I mean to tell you that it was just an absolute blowout uh, affair. And the tribe that uh, created the venue, they spent millions of dollars for this one night flying in a lot of people from Hollywood, from all over the United States actually, A-list celebrities to attend the grand opening. So I'm talking with her about it and she said, Dad, you know, it'd really be great. You ought to come up and photograph this. It's gonna be a terrific event. I said, honey, I really appreciate that, but you know, I barely know what I'm doing and I certainly don't know anything about that. And it's probably not a good idea. I, I probably would uh, just embarrass myself. She said, no, dad, come on, come up and it'll be, it'll be a great night. Let's, let's share it together. So I did and I went and here I was and there was thousands of people there. And I found myself standing on the media side of the red carpet and I'm gonna be photographing all these very famous faces that I've only seen on television and in movies and like, oh my God, what am I doing here? So I'm there and I'm standing next to these photographers who are obviously seasoned professionals and they're there from like Getty and Wire Services and such. And I'm sort of like looking over at them like, oh, I see, uh, maybe I should do what they're doing. So I guess I tried and the night was amazing. I was photographing Jenny McCarthy and Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones and Diddy and just an incredible, incredible lineup of, of very famous people. As I concluded, uh, the publicist for the venue came around and said, hey, can I get your digital cards? Uh, we'd probably like to see what images you captured and maybe get to use them. And I thought to myself, oh yeah, that's a really good idea because what I captured, I'm pretty sure you're never going to be able to be able to use or want to use. Nevertheless, uh, she took them. And the next day, to my amazement, the New York Post, the Daily News, the New York Times, the Hollywood Reporter, and on and on and on, here are my photographs of these people. And I got a byline photo credit for these, fo for these photos. And the next thing you know, I'm getting calls from the publicists for a lot of these very same A-list celebrities asking for copies of the images, licensing rights. And I'm thinking to myself, Oh my God, this is, is, is this really happening? This is just crazy. I know there's people that are professional photographers who've probably done this for their entire lives. They never had that opportunity. And how lucky was I? From there, everything just sort of went forward. And I had the opportunity to work with a lot of those very same publicists who had clients uh, in the entertainment world that were in New York. I got to photograph them when they were in the city. Uh, and I've gone out to photograph a lot of celebrity properties. Uh, and that's really where I've spent a lot of my time in photographing celebrity real estate and which I'm fairly well known for, I guess. And um, it's really been an incredible journey. And that's how it all started. That's my backstory. As always, thanks so much for watching and for listening. And I look forward to talking to you the next time.